extent. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. What up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it. Thumbs the video down if you don't. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's going to tell you what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a king crab hot pot. We have a lot of items here, so we just about to get into this because we are super hungry. We are. You ready? Yes. Then let's get into the video. All right, we back. We are back, you guys. So, we already have the um, hot pot, hot pot base going and shout out to bougie palettes yes specifically honey because i know she's the one who sent this to us show mm -hmm. them the pack that she said she sent us like I'm six not, or seven I'm different hot pots show all the pack. i mean this is what we actually use today yes uh, oh and she told us to use this it's crab paste she said this is gonna turn it up a lot she said put that in anyone Just, yeah that's the shit she i already tasted it in this mom so i already know but yeah so we didn't know which one we should use honey but you see we're using this one so let's try it out Let's tell them what we have though, what we're gonna be putting in the hot box. All right. So, what we have today is bok choy, my favorite, Napa cabbage for Stephanie, enoki mushrooms. If y'all don't know what enoki mushrooms are, there you go. Um, we have king crab, snow crab, tofu cutlets, uh, fish balls, we got some ramen, lotus root, we got some wagyu Kobe beef, salmon, dumplings, and scallops. And we got Stephanie's delicious Thai seafood sauce that has ponzu sauce in it. Yes. Delicious. I'm and, ready. Uh, what should we throw in first? Get into the no. EDO. Uh, you want to put this okay. okay? Yeah. Okay. I think this is good, you think? I don't know. It smells great. You take know. Let's just, I guess we'll see how it tastes and if we think we need some more. I'm hungry. I'm putting some lotus roots because yeah, they, they don't, they yeah. take a while. So I'm going to put this right on her side because she's the one to be eating this. Yes. I'll give myself two. I'm not really into the lotus root, y'all. Yes. Yes. What else? Yes. Give me a dumpling. Give me two dumplings. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna boil. Put my dumplings in here. Okay, here you go. Please put some napa cabbage over here for me. That's one of Inside? my favorite. Yeah. Just, okay. That's one of my favorites. Stephanie loves her napa. I love napa cabbage too, but give yes. my baby her napa. Yes. Yes. This oh is so my. fun, y'all. We love doing the hot pot. I've been trying to do it for like the last week. Yeah. But Tasha's like, it's too hot. Yeah. She likes eating it. I love eating it, y'all. <laughs> she don't like being hot. Yeah. So, hey, you didn't have to respond to that. I'm dropping some tofu like... in there, y'all. And some fish balls. You want to put some fish balls in? Uh, yeah. Oh, you don't want it? I, I don't like know. Fish balls. I do like them, but I don't know if I want I'm not in the mood for them. Right oh, now. okay. But I'll eat them. That's fine. Put some, um, some olive oil in there for me. Oh, you guys. And we got a, a topic bit. today, but we're going to eat for a little while first. The topic is pretty good. It's a viewer topic. I'm gonna put a few pieces of the beef inside of the boil. Y'all. So you wanna start, um. Nah, we'll wait for a minute. The topic? Yeah. I guess we can start the topic because this is kind of different. So we could maybe talk about the topic throughout. Yeah. Because I feel like we have to stop and go a lot with the hot pot. So, mm -hmm. you guys, I am just gonna start with a topic real quick. Because we're not gonna eat for a second. This one is someone who was apprehensive about coming to us. Oh, she said she was apprehensive because she knows that we would tell her the truth. And maybe she doesn't want to hear the truth. Gotcha. Um, so basically, she's been with her child's father, her children's father since she was 14 years old. He was 16. Um, this was back in 26, 2006. She loves him dearly, and, but she feels like she's not living her truth. She has twin girls with him. And this is the only man that she's been with, you guys. So um, they had kids in 2010. So their twins are about what? Nine, nine years old, eight or nine years old. Um, he hasn't been perfect to me, but he hasn't totally shitted on me. So um, she didn't say, I don't know if he cheated or not, because I don't think that she said that. Um, she just said that he has, he's had his flaws. She said that she never physically cheated. Oh yeah, he did cheat. So she's never physically cheated, but she has been flirtatious. She loves him and she knows that he loves her. But um, she feels she feels like she's not satisfied. Um, she says she's never lived 
you know, besides him, she's never been with another man or anybody else. She's only been with him. And she feels like, you know, she's missing out. She's very attracted to women. She actually said that I love women. And I want to see how it goes with women, but, you know, I also love him. And she was like, um, basically what I do right now, they're 20, she's 27, he's 29. And she's, she wants to know what she should do. So you guys, just so you know, if you guys are new here, we'd like to hear your feedback as well on the topics because we don't know everything. Um, everybody's opinion is different, you know, and she might look at one thing and say, oh, I agree with that, you know, and it might help her. Yeah, that, please help with this one. Yeah. I was just like, I don't even know what to say on this one because it's like you already got a family, basically, with yeah. this man. Yeah. You got your kids that you got to worry about taking away from him. And she says she does love him. Yeah. Not like she's just not happy and don't want to be with him. Correct. But then you got the desire for mm -hmm. the women. Yeah. But the thing is this. I mean, he has cheated on her. Yeah. She hasn't cheated on him. He has cheated on him. He's had a chance to be with other women because he just decided, I'm going to go ahead and cheat. So that's even true. though that's not, like, the best thing to do for her to, like, do revenge, it's not about revenge. You feel in some kind of way. You're going to keep feeling this way, and you're going to keep feeling unfulfilled until you do something about it. Now, that might end your relationship. And that might be what you need to do anyway. You I may mean, not end your relationship. Maybe you might want to do some stuff together. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But is your relationship that important to you that possibly losing him is enough to satisfy you? What do y'all think? What do you think, babe? I don't know. Because I'm very big on keeping my family together, for one. Like, I feel like... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I think I would try to ask him that he want to have a picture. That's just what I would do. This is my thing. That's what I would do. Because I, I want to keep my family together. Yeah. And I do love him. So in order to fulfill my desire, plus but, y'all both kind of cheating anyway. Okay. So why not do it together? But what? she may not want to. Because <laughs> you always got to. But. Yeah, because I'm we don't like, agree. I know. Be, but what if she doesn't want to share him, uh, her with him? Well, that's her fault. You shouldn't have fucking started the family with this dude, okay? You might not want to share, but you got to think about what's the best thing to do, okay? Or don't pursue women. Sorry. <laughs> don't um, pursue women. That's this, another option. This is on, correct? Yeah. Okay. Or don't pursue. Okay, that's Stephanie's take on it. Mine is different. I'm like... Even if she was with another woman and just wanted to cheat, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like trying to work your family out is more important. Yeah. If, if you feel like you can't, then move on, you know? Yeah. I think it's okay to move on for sure, but I don't know. I, sometimes people are so curious about something that they'll let that kill something real. Yeah. And then they try it and it's like, why'd I do that? You know? Yeah. What you want, babe? Um, to see your spirit or something. Yeah, I just I see you got a big clear bowl and I don't. <laughs> so I'm wondering. I was asking you, what did you want to put stuff in? Do I have a clear bowl? So right now we got some salmon on here. We got the wagyu beef. And I have some scallops. All looking very delicious. Can you cut me a lemon while you're over there? <gasps> don't fall. Put some lemon on here. So we yeah. also have another topic. Or jump um, here? Huh? Jump yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what y'all think about that? I think she's asking us because she probably wants to leave that situation. You know? I feel like if you're not happy in the situa situation and you're done with trying to work it out, it's okay to leave. What gets me is if you say you're in love with the person, I don't think you should end your relationship for a fantasy or for something that you're not even sure if you want. You know, that's all I'm saying. Absolutely not. All right, y'all. We're trying to fix the base. So while Tasha's doing that, I need some of this food. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, Ooh, this looks so good. It is. Look at this salmon. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, the salmon I love. Mm. Okay, so you might want to take this snow crab out. Okay. Can't you overcook it? Yeah, okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I gotta put this down real quick. Mm. 
eat my salmon. Y'all know, mm, I love Stephanie's this Thai sauce, man. Oh, that's mine. No, it is. Woo! Woo! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If this ain't the best thing I ever had, I just know that I can't get enough. It needs to. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! If you joined our live, live the other night, y'all, thank you. We had so much fun with y'all. It was turned up. Turned. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all were too. We had so much fun. I mean, it's, I don't think we did live like that in like what? No, we haven't it? done it in a while. Yeah, we used to do lives a lot more, y'all. I don't mm -hmm. know why we haven't. Cause we still we have, have so more going so on. So more, much more going on, yeah. So much going on. Mm, mm, mm. We ain't been getting turned as much. Oh yeah, <laughs> period. That's true. All right, all right, y'all. I'm about to start eating. Sure. I like to have all my stuff ready. Yeah, I know. I, I, don't, want, I don't want to eat a, one piece of something and then got to go back to cooking. Eh. That. Mm. <laughs> Her bowl looks nice. She got a little surf and turf. Yes. Want some beef? No. Here, you do? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You can anyway. Mm -hmm. The beef in this sauce is so bomb. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait till my ramen you made ready. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Your ramen? <laughs> Look at share it. I'm sorry, I gotta use my hands because. Ooh, that's good. Mm. I don't know what I just ate. Woo! That beef is Ooh. good. Mm. I'm sorry, I gotta use my hands, mm. like I said. Because mm. these chopsticks ain't doing it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Oh, that was good. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is good, honey. This is definitely the best uh, base we've tried. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, if y'all haven't checked out Bougie Palette, check them out. Um, We're going to put that info somewhere, wherever Stephanie puts it. In the description. I'll probably throw it in the video and the description. Mm. Oh, the sauce flavor that gets into this crab. Oh, mm. that's wrong. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's a little hot though, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like spicy? No, no, no. Oh, hot, steamy. I'm trying to throw my trash all in one spot, y'all. Scallop. Should I do another topic? Mm hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give y'all another topic real quick. On the salmon, I know y'all see me doing stuff. Y'all like, what she doing? I put um, just some butter and some salt and pepper, and of course some lemon. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a mother of a single two-year-old boy. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, a single mother of a two-year-old boy. Her and the father have been broken up for a year. And um, the dad, she's right now, she's at a crossroads. The dad is in and out of the ch child's life. He'll FaceTime the kid, talk to him, whatever, and then he'll let a week go by, or weeks, I'm sorry, weeks go by and not speak to the baby. One day he hit her up and was like, oh, I want to FaceTime him or whatever. And he, the, the guy never, um, the dad never called or never FaceTimed the kid. Um, and this is a constant thing. He see, he'll he talk to the kid for a week or two weeks straight, she said, and then he'll go off the grid for several weeks. So she's, he's very inconsistent in her son's life. And she's at the point where she wants to cut him off just until he can be consistent because she doesn't want her son to end up being four years old and really recognizing his dad. She said she, she said he does know his dad. And, like, after she, he'll talk to his dad, he'll um, talk, um, 
After he sees it, talks to Dan, he'll ask for him for a few days, but then after that, you know, it fades away or whatever. And because he's two, that's probably why. Right. But once he gets older, it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. He's going to be hurt. She said she don't want to have to sit there and have to console her son all the time because his dad broke his heart. Mm -hmm. So she's asking our opinion on do we think she should let the dad go and not let him in his life until he's consistent or continue to let it go like it is? She doesn't want an all for me? No, just say so. Oh. She doesn't want to, like be the one, the reason why his dad is not in his, his life at all. Right. You know? Yep. That's so another hard one. Very hard. That's another hard one. I'm definitely for keeping the parents in the life. I'm definitely for that. It's hard to deal with somebody that's inconsistent, inconsistent though, especially if your child is sad about it. This is a tough one, y'all. I, I, I don't think I would not let him see, even if he was inconsistent. Okay. Sorry. I know some people are not going to agree with me. But what? Some people want to agree. Some people want to disagree. Yeah. But I would. Because I would hope that they would eventually become consistent. I would try to talk to them as much as possible. Maybe I can help him understand the importance to the child that his presence is. Yeah. Talk to him. Tell them how your your child misses them and you know how it's very disappointing. Sometimes that will help somebody think about it and just change, you know? You want more sense? No. Yeah, of course. You said no, he, that ain't gonna help no. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't, don't know. Um, yeah, that's true. But I think that he's the father to that child. He should already have the feeling. I mean, some fathers are fathers and some are just fathers. You know, they ain't really the father. They just whatever. It's like what they say, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. Some mm -hmm. people are really like that. And I think a lot of guys, some guys just don't really care. And this is for anybody, even females. Like what they say, um, uh, out of sight, out of mind. So if he's not seeing the child in. He might not miss them. He might. That's when a week or two he calls. It's maybe when he misses his son. I personally. Um, if I was in that situation, now I know a lot of you guys don't know like how Elijah was conceived and what happened with him. You can go watch the story. I think it's called How I Got Pregnant. Um, and then the other one is two, two moms raising a two lesbians raising a son or two women raising a son, something like that. But um, I would not allow that man to be in my son's life. Uh, well, his dad, I'm sorry. I would not allow his dad to be in his life until he was consistent because I feel like he's going to continue to do this forever. I mean, part of me is like, let him. He can just be inconsistent. Your son will be used to him being inconsistent, and that'll be that. There, But I feel like you need to push more for him to be around your son. You need to be like, okay, you're getting him this week. And that needs to be what the situation is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. Oh. Don't let him get used to not being in your son's life. <clears throat> because then, maybe it'll stay that way. Sometimes I guess you have to be aggressive if that's something you really, maybe if that's something you really want, you gotta be aggressive with it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think, please? Cause me and Stephanie don't really have experience with that and I think that's a very serious um, topic. I mean, I think there's people out there now who, I think there's a lot of fathers who don't see their kids that much. We got 20 seconds left. Uh -huh. I'm back. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta try a hot pot, y'all. That. We got this from uh, Sears. We thought we got it from Amazon, but we got it from Sears. Um, it's called maple. Like the syrup, maple hot pot. Sorry, y'all. I ain't been talking as much. Some people are happy about that, but I'm just been into the cooking. Who was happy about you not talking about it? Oh, people be like, shut up. Just be quiet in the knee. Oh, yeah. So... I'll be serious about my cooking, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. This is good. It's bomb. But what I was gonna say is that um I think a lot of people a lot of guys out there don't see their kids that much. Yeah. I know. I don't think this is a rare thing. And I wonder if a lot of boys are or children, not boys, but boy children are suffering from not seeing their dad that much. Or is it just something that 
they get used to it. Like for instance, when I was a kid, I used to see my grandma ever so often. I didn't see her all the time. And I mean, it didn't bother me. I think it depends on the kid, honestly. Because, mm, I think a lot of people be putting a lot on, oh, it's not good to be a single mom. Or even like for true. us, even like for us, it's not good to be two women. But I had a mom and dad, y'all. They worked a lot. So they wasn't around that much, period. I mean, so I mean, it really depends. And I'll be real, I had a mom and a dad too, but my dad wasn't that nice to my mom. So I would have preferred him not to be there. Right. I think a single parent can do it. Same ginger can do it. One dad can do it. I mean, you know. Yep. And then my dad left when I was 12, and I was fine with it. Yeah. It definitely depends on the child. Because I know a lot of people are, like, devastated mm -hmm. when their parents break up or, yeah. or Girl, sad because they don't have one parent. I cried. I remember crying. And my mom used that as an excuse to tell my dad to come back. I didn't want him to come back, y'all. I didn't. But he came back. Came so I think I think at two years old, he ain't going to know no difference right now. Yeah, he knows his dad, but his dad not being around is not going to affect him as much as it will later. But like you said, it depends on the kid. He may, he may be cool with it. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't think you should take his dad away from him. I think mm -hmm. he's trying to make his dad more consistent. Mm -hmm. Tell him you're dropping him off. Period. Exactly. I, I got something I got to do. Drop him off and then get him used to that. Uh, I heard one balls. What? Oh, one of the balls. I don't know what that is. Not you have eat hot pot. There's like some strong it's minty anise star. Uh, I don't know. I do not like the flavor of that. You turn this hot pot down, y'all. Mm. Woo! It is blazing up here. Bam! Oh, sorry. <laughs> y'all still here? Say. Hot pot. Hot pot. Hey, I got a question. Ooh, the bomb. Mm. Yeah, I don't even know. This is just all too good. Do I look crazy? You no. look hot. <laughs> oh, I do? Yeah. I am hot. <laughs> I'm hot as hell. Mm. I am so hot. Okay. I feel like I needed this. Cause I didn't feel great when, when I, we woke up this morning. Really? Yeah, I feel like I needed like just some heat in my body or something. Oh, maybe some soup or I something. I think you should eat some lotus root. Mm. I'm trying to beef with the ramen. Let me try this crab with this lemon mm. lime sauce. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's good. It makes the king crab meat so tender. Oh, is that what it is? Like that hot, hot? I don't know. Yeah. I guess so, because it's really tender. Mm -hmm. It's really tender. Um, I don't know. I got some plain butter on me. Oh. Mm. All right, y'all, this is coming to a close. Yeah. We ain't saying nothing. Right. I think we done eating. I just feel wet. I feel hot. Yeah, it's like too <laughs> hot. Sometimes it's too hot to talk. It is. And this is one of them times, y'all. It's so hot. Thank when you, you get to a point where it's too hot to enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to um everybody. But special thank you to all of our new subs, y'all. Thank you for checking us out. Welcome to the family. Hope you can make one of our lives so you can, like, mingle with the rest of the family, because everybody is cool as hell, y'all. Ooh. All right, y'all. Like right. I said earlier, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, give it a thumbs up. Oh! <laughs> got you, too? <laughs> it's getting dangerous in here, y'all. Oh, we got to yeah. go. So, um, vlog channel link is in the description below. We promise we're going to try to do some more vlogs. Check your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. Until next time, only goodbyes. Peace. Peace.